Hello and welcome. I am Sachin Brahme with Avaya Serviceability Engineering. In this video, we will talk about how to set up a managed or a preview job in Avaya Proactive Contact. A managed or a preview job allows the agents to first preview the customer's record and then place a call on it. After previewing the record, they can even be given the option to either place a call on the customer's record or cancel it, meaning not place a call and move to the next record. So basically the agent will first get a display of the customer's record on his screen and then he can decide whether to make a call to that customer's record or not. In PC 5.0 with certain patches, there is also a method where the agents will get an empty record display on their screen. That is the screen will appear but the fields will be empty. And then using a key field, for example an account number, they can search for a particular customer's record and then make a call to that customer. This feature is called empty preview search. We will not be covering this for this video. And as the managed or a preview job dials one call per agent at a time, it does not use the predictive nature of the calling algorithm. So this type of job is particularly used where you want to have the agents first to preview the customer's record so that they can do a brief study on it and then place a call to that customer. Let's now see the job configuration. So I log into the editor application. I'll try to create a job here. So I click on new. I create an active mode. Click next. For the job type, I'll select outbound. Since the managed job is an outbound type of job, a managed job will always be outbound. It cannot be a blend or an inbound type of job. Then I choose the outbound list for my job here. And you'll see the checkboxes on the right for the features have become enabled now. I'll select the manage feature from here so that it creates my job as a managed job. Then click on next. Give a brief description. And then click finish. And you can see that it has created the basic managed job configuration for me. Now the first important setting you should make for a managed job is the minimum hit rate. The minimum hit rate basically determines how aggressively should the job dial. And since this is a managed job, it will dial only one call per agent at a time. So minimum hit rate should be set to 100%. That is one call per agent. So I set this to 100 here. Then if you scroll down, it is asking for these two settings here. For the script label, for making call, you should always choose preview underscore call. This is the default script label to be used for all managed jobs. And for data processing label, you should choose the generic label as a default. Now if you scroll down further, you see these main settings for the manage feature. The manage preview dialing is checked already since we created this job as a manage job. Then if you want to give the agents the flexibility to cancel a customer's record, that is choose to not make a call, then you can choose this checkbox. Then there is this setting for the preview time in seconds, that is how much time you want to give the agents to preview the customer's record. Let's say I want the agent to have a preview time of 60 seconds. Now when the agent is previewing the record, if he wishes, he can choose to make a call before the timer of 60 seconds is over or even choose to cancel the call if this checkbox for allow agents to cancel call was checked. And if at the end of 60 seconds, the agent still does not place a call or cancel the call, the dialer will automatically place a call by itself. The maximum setting for this timer is 999 seconds and the minimum is 0 seconds. The setting of 0 seconds means basically the timer is off and the agent can remain in preview state infinitely until he chooses to place a call or cancel the call. The remaining 4 settings under the manage dialing section are for the empty preview search feature which we will not be covering in this video. Once done, I click on the save button provide a name for my job and click OK. One important thing to note here is the key file that you use on your job, which in our example is ag underscore cmd1. It should contain the keys required for manage dialing. So I am in the agent keys section on the editor 
and you can see this ag underscore cmd key file it has two required keys for manage dialing the dial preview record key is for placing the call on the customer's record and the manage cancel call key is for canceling the record without making a call the default ag cmd1 key file will always have this key but if you're using a different key file make sure you have these two keys required for the manage job dialing now let's briefly see how it works for an agent I've logged into the agent application and while logging in I chose to log in as a managed agent. I've already started my job and I click on the join job button now. I see my job listed there. It's important to note that I will see only the managed jobs in my list here since I've logged in as a managed agent. So if there are other outbound or inbound jobs running I won't see them here. So I select my job to join and you'll see that I'm presented with a customer's record and I'm in the preview mode right now. So I can either stay in preview mode for 60 seconds and wait for the dialer to automatically place the call or I can choose to place the call myself. So I go into the work menu and I see two options here for placing the call or canceling the call. Let me click on the dial manage call button and you'll see that the dialing is in progress. And then finally the agent is connected with the customer. So let's do one more. So I'll release the call with the sold campaign completion code. And then I'll release the record with finish work. And I'm presented with a new record again. And again I'm in preview mode. So this time I'll choose to cancel the record. So before the 60 seconds are over, I'll go into the work menu and click on managed cancel call button and immediately I am presented with the next record so the earlier record has been cancelled so this is how the agent will be able to place the call or cancel the call and if we check the job on screen at this point you can see the job here there is one agent logged in and if I tab over to the completion code screen you'll see there is one managed cancel call completion code which is code 35 as a default and one sold campaign completion code that the agent disposed with. So this is how we can set up and use the manage job feature in our proactive contact. Thank you for watching this video. For any questions or feedback you may write to us at mentor at .com or at mentor on Twitter. For more details and other technical information please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.